We're here at the WFCU Center with Ray Mansour, who is the manager of the WFCU Center and Arenas, and Don Sadler. A very exciting time for us right now, Ray. Uh, we're getting ready to welcome Memorial Cup. Yeah, we're extremely excited. It's been a busy 13 months since uh, last April when we hosted the uh, CARA event, which was the adult uh, uh, championships, uh, which we hosted many countries across the world. Uh, then in December, we hosted the FINA championships, uh, which was another international event. And now we're looking forward to hosting the 99th annual MasterCard Memorial Cup. What are some of the changes that you've made around uh, to the center? Well, uh, council uh, had decided that to invest $990,000 into this facility prior to the commencement of this event. Uh, some of the projects include uh, the new boards and glass that you see here before uh, behind me. Uh, this is the NHL standard now, um, and the players and the coaches, they all love it. Um, another major investment was we built a brand new dressing room for this event, uh, which uh, you know cost us approximately 175000 but it's a state-of-the-art, and the Memorial Cup and the CHL are extremely happy with, uh, with everything we've put into that room. As well, we've built a media platform, we've added rubber in the dressing rooms, we've added uh, new flooring in the lobby. We've added additions to the parking lot, which includes entrances and exits uh, off of McHugh Street. Uh, so there's been uh, numerous additions uh, that we're really proud of. Don, you were uh, helping out, assisting in this project. What did it take to install the new media center here? Well, this building, <clears throat> fortunately, was uh, the original design was to allow another 1,800 seats in this building. And so that's why we have the height. So that allowed us to then put the new media platform above the suites on the one side and uh, the space was there in the building. If we didn't have the um, space above the suites then we would have had to section out of uh, some of the spectator seats in order to host the media. So this works out well. That media platform now will be here for forever and uh, the uh, many events that can be hosted here, I'm sure will make good use of that media. I was platform. going to say, this is not a one-off. These, these changes that have been made set us up to, to move forward into the future. I think we've gleaned a fair bit of experience in the 10 years we've been open. And uh, during that time, we recognized just what is required for some of these major events. And uh, as Ray pointed out earlier, the, we've had three major events in the last uh, short period of time in 13 months so um, now we have a facility that's set up for anything that you could possibly think of could be hosted here. Now Ray back to the uh, event at hand Memorial Cup tickets still available and how can people get them? Yeah still uh, there's approximately while well, there's over a thousand tickets left for each game we encourage people to buy them in advance you could buy them online by going to the wfcucenter.com website uh, you can buy them in person at the box office. It's open daily now until the event starts, um, or you can order them by phone. So we encourage people to get them. Uh, we're hopeful that uh, they won't last long.